Good afternoon, my fellow freedom fighters of the world, sons and daughters of liberty, knights of freedom. Welcome to another great segment of walking on the Iroquois warpath. I call this a trail of honor, my friends. I've been walking for six years now with the American flag, whole glory flying in the wind on the roads, the highways, the byways, the trails and it's a trail of honor because every three miles that I walk is to honor a brave soldier who these soldiers are our greatest patriots of this great country so I'm proud to walk to honor them and like I said it's, I'm walking three miles for every soldier lost like no matter where I go no matter where I hike it's a trail of honor, and I'm very proud of this. And after today's great 10-mile march through the Pennsylvania Outback, which I call the Iroquois Warpath, I'm going to be at 9,300 miles, my friends. Yes, I'm very proud to bring that information to you. And like I said, it's been a trail of honor, amazing journey. Here we find ourselves in Camp Iroquois, here on the Iroquois Warpath which as a lot of you know and uh, the link to this subject that I'm just going to talk about for about three seconds here uh, Project Alamo I started it this summer I spent a lot of time in this great fortress that uh, me and my sons and daughters of Liberty who have also started their own Project Alamos uh, we all got together we always have campfires during the summer over the last well, since 2007, I started my Sons and Daughters of Liberty group. So we're all a little secret society of patriots who very we love this country. We keep our names silent from other groups of patriots because we are honorable and we are determined to make our last stand against tyranny. Like I said, every one of us now have started our own. We, we made a pact one time to uh, do this, and we, this was our main goal to make this HQ, should we say, headquarters. But, um, all right, I talked longer than three seconds about it, but I'm very proud. We're actually digging trenches at a lot of the locations right now. I started to dig trenches here. We, uh, we, yeah, we started to dig trenches here, and I've been helping them dig their trenches. Like one guy said on, on the internet, he started his own Project Alamo. He said, "What? I know we're digging trenches with this Project Alamo. What good is what good of that would be against tanks?" I'm like, you know, uh, I, I I study history. I, I like to watch movies, war movies, and everything. I said, um, you know, in Saving Private Ryan, when they had the sticky socks, sticky bombs. That's how we stop them. We gotta go into the battle with a stick and a flag. And we'll come out driving those damn tanks, my friend, because that's the American spirit. We, the real true American patriots in this country, who, like I said, our greatest, our greatest patriots are our soldiers and our veterans. That's why Jan Napolitano has uh, them on her most wanted list, because I, I'm blessed. I never served in the military, but my dad was a great army. He taught all his Boy Scouts how to be in the Army. <laughs> so so we were, I was really lucky to have a lot of training with my dad to survive out here in the wilderness. And that's what it's all about, survival, my friends. So this is Project Alamo Part 2. I'm going to keep making these videos. And uh, whenever you find this video, go to the bottom, click on the link, and you'll go get to see my other videos. Uh, basically, um, these blogs are inspirational patriotic uh, blogs to get you motivated to um, I'm gonna do more of these now uh, I, I just have to because I w I've been wanting to do a lot of them but there's so much in news out there and I call my my website the Ben Franklin printing press so at the bottom of this blog I'll have all the important ones right now 
for you to learn about because a lot of you patriots don't even know that we've been silently invaded by the Russian Spetsnaz troops. And don't you a assholes out there say, oh no, here we go, another fucking conspiracy theorist guy, this stupid Russian invasion thing again. You know about these assholes. They hijacked this goddamn election. Don't you think they're gonna bring in fucking special Rambo troops to kick your asses? Cause they know the American patriots who are our greatest patriots, our veterans and our soldiers are gonna stand down cause they're sworn against enemies from within. Wake the fuck up, man, use common sense. You've been lied to. This goddamn Republican party's the treasonous bastards as much as the fucking Democrats. They were all here on fucking 9-11. Wake the fuck up, man. I'm tired of you assholes fucking saying conspiracy theory, conspiracy theory, conspiracy theory is thinking. I call my website the Ben Franklin Printing Press because I'm a thinker. Glenn Beck's an asshole. He hasn't been telling you the whole truth, nothing but the truth, because he's his job is to keep us divided. Talk radio, keep your American patriots divided and fucking stupid for 11 years. 9-11 was the inside job. Wake the fuck up, man. I'm sick of this shit, man. You assholes. Why the fuck do you think I'm talking about it? Because fucking American soldiers risked their fucking lives to get that information to you assholes. Fucking assholes. You're all assholes. If you don't if you don't think this commie bastard government has brought in Rambo troops to fucking kick your ass, you're a stupid motherfucker. Wake the fuck up. Project Alamo, part two. Go check out the rest of the blog on my website. Pass this video to your friends. Wake the fuck up! Assholes! American assholes, that's all you are, fucking assholes. The whole world's awake. The whole world knows 9-11 was inside job. You're fucking idiots. God, I hate this. Idiots, I hate it. I'm surrounded by assholes. Not even the, I did a video just a little bit ago, but listen, last week about the fucking asshole Democrats. I'm surrounded by assholes that are Republicans too. God, one day, one day you're gonna wake up. You gotta remember me. Have a great day wherever you're at.